one marine into a reactor here for cure. Nice and standard. New reactor Hellion's coming out in just a minute. This is crazy. Okay, so he's going to come forward. Now the roaches are going to see the Banshee. And look, he can just shoot that down. Mm -hmm. That's not a very committed uh, push out here for Dark. Just a handful of roaches. And honestly, losing the roaches here, it's like worth the value in getting the scout on the Banshees a couple seconds of uh, oh, for sooner. Because sure. if that just shows up, it starts killing stuff. Mm -hmm. And by the way, state behind this, he is going for Stim. Yeah, Stim in and a third, third command center. So it won't be that uh, deadly two-base siege tank push that we've seen uh, Terrans do earlier in the GSL Code S. I like this for Cure. And no fourth hatchery just yet, but Dark is getting his infestation pit. He is getting his hydralisk den. He starts that fourth. Starts that fourth and adding a lot more drones. So pretty even, I got to say. Considering the opening so far, and Dark is a guy that absolutely loves his Roach play in this matchup. Really healthy Roach count there for him. And Cure, off to go for a drop into the main base. Now, I don't think this has been spotted from Dark. I'm curious if Dark has anything oh, in his main to is he just to He's going to drop here, or does he go in the main? He goes in the main. He's going in the main. Okay. That's a lot of Marines. Oh, man. And this is a really good position. He's going to have to cancel the hatchery. I was about to say. Oh, he might get a lair. Dude, what? He's going for the lair. Two transfuses coming off. More coming up for the back. But that's it. The lair's down. Immediately oh, he gets, gets out. started that was again. Sick. So. Oh, is he not going to move? I, thought he was, I was about to say he's going to fly into the main. He just, like, <laughs> picks up and waits there. That can't be the right way to do it. Um, yeah, I mean, Kira's has played an extremely patient game. It looks like things are going to start to get to a boiling point, though, because the tanks are coming out. Terran is maxed out. Not that Zerg is that far away. Uh, he needs to pick a location to hit. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, I, I do got to point out, he's played such a strong game that there really isn't any kind of easy point to attack because Dark has expanded so slowly. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like it's going to be at this fourth base over here. There is a fresh base being taken at 12 o'clock. Ooh, Fungo coming in. We get a medevac. First liquor upgrade now being researched. Two more Vipers on the way. And the spell casting for Dark is critical in this. You know, we see yeah. a lot of Zerg players play T ZBT and will mostly rely on positioning. They'll play like a Ling Bane Ling style, maybe, maybe with some roaches, and they'll. Right focus on getting surrounds on the Terran army, but this army that Dark has made is playing to a little bit of a different style. For him, it's the spell casting, it's the infestors, it's the uh, it's the vipers that are gonna be critical in getting a fight because if he needs to, if he trades favorably with this uh, army right here for Cure, now that he's finally adding in lurkers, he's gonna have a very powerful unit composition. What is this crazy attack? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a drive-by. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like the confidence was there for Cure. Um, and so he's actually going to go right back into turtling. We're going to be in for a long game here. He's camping. Yeah, he's just going to he's gonna turtle it out. Nice drop over here. Oh, he's actually going to have the Lurker dead. Man, these Lurker upgrades have been delayed so much. <laughs> this is wild. Yeah. He, oh, oh, look at these what? fumbles. Those are some huge fumbles. Bio's coming down as well as a huge swath of Cure's bio just gets decked. In the meantime, though, oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna get, do it. Gonna... Get your layer punch card out. <laughs> Hive just has too much HP, but man, nine drones going down. It's a lot of damage done. Infestation pit as well, man. Curious snipe so many critical structures. It's kind of insane. Yeah. We. Well, yeah, I've never quite casted a TBZ like this, by the way. No, it's really wonky. Yeah. It's really funny because I feel like Dark. Maybe like, I see the infestors as kind of a reactive thing. It's like, oh, I need to yeah. spend my gas on something productive. My hive tech has been delayed by minutes. Right. Might as well make four infestors. And then now you have like him kind of playing into an army composition that pairs well with fungal growth. Yeah. And Kier also like finding these weird pads, like sniper layers and like lurker dens and almost getting a hive there. It brought it to like 50% HP. It's an odd game. It's kind of a unique one, but we're, we're eventually getting back to the stage in the game where it's Terran taking their side of the map and playing on the defensive and Zerg, once they get all the pieces of their puzzle and they get all their lurker upgrades, they get all their melee attack upgrades, their carapace upgrades, they'll start to trade in with the Terran and hopefully find some ground because as it is right now, Cure sitting on a lot of command centers. He's going to be gearing up to take a fifth and a sixth base very soon. Or sixth and seventh, excuse me, he's already taken that fifth. 
Yeah, I mean, Dark did it. He really is the best at this in the whole world, I think. It's just sort of barely, you know, hanging on, and then eventually he's outlasted him. Mm -hmm. Now, I, Dark is eventually going to have to take the initiative himself. When Terran makes a bunch of planetaries, it kind of blocks off, like we see around 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, it has these planetaries that are not on bases, or instead just sort of there as like uh, giant turrets, so to speak. That's when you're telegraphing your behavior to the Zerg and saying, yeah, we're not, I'm not going to try to end this right away. We're going to go for exhaust play once more. So, you know, I, I just want to say, like, right now, Terran is, is almost out expanding the Zerg. In fact, I guess they're, if you look he at is, the dots yeah. of bases on the map, they're technically even. But, like, that means that Zerg's behind because Zerg is supposed to be, like, at least one base ahead in this matchup. Lack of Spore Crawlers here is an issue for Dark as well. As yeah. He's having to split so much of his attention on shutting down these Liberators. I mean, four drones at this stage in the game is not a big deal, but Oof. it takes your attention away from things like this, and that's Lurgers going down, that's Infestors getting sniped, and here we go. Fungal. Well, that, was, that was a funny-looking exchange, wasn't yeah, it? It was, but you like it, because the Fungal, not only does it slow them down, but also reveals those, uh, those ghosts, ghosts, and the Vipers just come in and abduct all of them. It's an interesting take on late-game Zerg here, which... Again, kind of feels very organic, so I don't think this was the plan coming into this game. It's just the way that things evolved. No, I think Kira actually played a really smart early all the way through mid now into late game. I think he really made it tricky for Dark. Um, but again, Dark is extremely good at playing from behind. Four more command centers in production. So all the bases have been taken. Uh, we know that the tank on the high ground hit those minerals is coming. Honestly, though, it just seems like Terran could just push up here. I'm not sure what the anti-air count is here for Dark. I don't think he has much of it at all. So these Liberators are going to be quite the problem to deal with. Liberators now coming in. Dark does not want to let Kira get this base. And Dark's army is very immobile. This is not Ling Bane Ling. This is Infester, Lurker, Viper. And as a result, him going over to the 3 o'clock to try and shut down that base, he's losing these two bases in top left. And it feels like Kira right now. Yeah, I like it for Kira, man. I really do. He's really snowballing. And Dark is going to try and trade out. Go tit for tat here. Take out these bases on the right side. But Kira has so many command centers that it almost doesn't even feel like this matters if these planetaries yeah, I, go down. I almost wish the Observer would just check how many minerals are at each base for the Zerg. Because that's actually the story of this game here. Is like Zerg needs to eventually take these other bases. Terrence ahead in bases. Um, and... and yeah, I mean, it just, it, it, he should just eventually get economically wiped out. We should point out that Zerg is not maxed, uh, no. whereas Terran is maxed, and now he can't even spend the money. 4K he's, bank. Yep, he's got a ton uh, banked up here. And, um, I oh, mean, if I'm mm. here, I play very slowly from here. I'm, I'd be very patient and just try to make sure that you hit. When you hit, it has to count. Yeah, it feels like he's in complete control right now. Just playing slow is the correct play. If he doesn't overextend, I don't see really oh, any path man, forward here for Dark. This. Well, he's got to make something happen, right? It's a little bit of a gamble. Okay, so drones are long distance mining. So that should tell us everything we need to know. Mm. Okay. These snipes. I think the snipes, man. Nearing the end of this game. We, yeah, we could have a quiet ending here. It could just be Dark tapping out. He just looks at the situation. He might try to find another opportunity. Honestly, there, I, I don't see any position in the last minute or two where like Zerk traded favorably at all. No, and it kind of, the main thing I'm looking at right now is that Dart is playing kind of a higher tech style than we see a lot of Zergs do. He's yeah. adding Infestors, he's adding Vipers, he's making a ton of Lurkers. Those are gas intensive units. And yet, like the one thing that he has right now is gas. And that's because he's been playing such a slow game. He's never really been able to get his mineral economy online. And the last couple of minutes, Kira's also been denying any extra bases in the top left in addition to the bottom right. Right. And Dark right now, I mean, it's been like almost a minute since the last fight and he's still nowhere near max, 179 supply. And a lot of that supply is in units that kind of fulfill a little bit more of a support role. It's Infestors, it's Vipers. They're not units that fight a lot head on, like, it's just a handful of handful of Hydras, a handful of Banes, a low number of Zerglings, and... Look at the minerals right now for Dark here. He has two bases right now that I think have still all their mineral patches, and pretty much everything else is nearing mined out. The main has gone in minerals, the third base looks like it's almost gone to minerals, as is the natural, and... 
Unless Dark is able to take another base, I think we're going to see him just kind of slowly bleed out here as the Ghosts come in and take yet another favorable exchange. No support on them, and Dark kind of going for a Hail and Air right now, diving the third base of Cure here with his Lurkers, Vipers, and Infestors, but Cure is ready for this man. Yeah, this is kind of Dark in his death throes here. Um, I mean, there's just no way he's going to get anything done. Cure basically played a brilliant exhaust game. GG. In that we'll see now. Hellion's underway. Starport in production. And, uh, yeah, that's a great point that Dark, at this point, has no idea whether or not Cure is taking a third uh, expansion. Now, he might surmise it based on the harassment units being thrown away. Because if this yeah. was a push, you'd expect Cure to do everything in his power to retain that bio count. But And, and I think he's going to try to fake oh. what looks like a two-base push here. Sportcrawler is really late there on the third base for uh, Dark. Healthy number of queens, though. Man, there's like no spores, right? Oh my god. Big misstep there Two with the Banshee. <laughs> yeah. That thing could not have died faster. This is an interesting push. That's a lot of Hellions. Huh. Th that's a, that's no, an no. unusually high well, number of Hellions. Here's what's weird about this. I feel like this is like almost an anti timing because he took a third base. But I guess he will be able to clean up the creep here. It's a lot of Hellions. You're right about He's that. He's making Steve. more, too. He just had two more pop back, so. Huh. Now, he turns him into Hellbats, but this can't work, right? No, there's Bailings already on the field. That's a nice spread, though. Yeah, that was pretty good, but I think the Queens alone just beat this. One of the funny things about watching Hellbats fight Queens is Queens are actually, like, more nimble than they are. Oh, my, my With their creep, so it's like, well, what are you trying to do here? They got their age advantage, too, and they yeah. can transfuse oh, their it's, tanky. It's crazy. Queens are great. Hellbats are so bad against uh, mass queens. It's funny, too, because, like, that's, like, just what Zergs do now is they go up to, like, nine queens or so right. almost every single game. And, oh, Cure not looking. Yeah. I, I don't like this game for Cure. No, I don't like the Hellbat timing. That's just so odd I feel to like me. he's made this game way more abstract. Honestly, uh, he's going to take a fourth CC. base here. It's going to be another slow grind game, I think. I thought he would keep it ambiguous, just go two bases and do an all-in. Now, their fourth base is coming. So Terran is, like, matching the Zerg. I mean, again, I don't really like what Kier did in some of this, but it's not terrible either. He's not out of the game no, by any no, means. No. He's still of, in this. We're getting into the mid game in a really uh, unusual fashion that does feel like it favors Dark. Is he going to get this? No, this will be transfused. Yeah, transfusions. Just say, that would be pretty crazy if he did actually get a denial on that uh, melee attack upgrade. Got to say, though, it's stressing me out a little bit that he didn't, like, transfuse it at least once. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> when I was like, watching I would... it, I'm like, dude. Just do one, man. <laughs> it's so interesting watching him pretty much keep pace with the economy of the Zerg player and also still find some damage, because at times it does look like he's oh. not really able to get too much done, but drops like this come in. Oh, wait, what? He wants to split it between the main and the net, Oh, I, guess. I see. Okay, I thought I was, I thought that was... For some reason, I actually thought that was his main for a second. Oh. I'm like, <laughs> I like had to do this uh, whole reset in my brain. So... He's pairing this up with an attack of the fifth. He's going to get oh the hatchery. Oh, my God. Or is he? Dark fights back. Yeah, those Banelings coming in the clutch right there. Buying enough time for your Dark to come in. Hatchery only in the third in hit points is... Dude. Cure kind of everywhere on the map right now. It's actually crazy that he's attacking and micro in two different positions. This looks like it should be almost physically impossible to manage. Yeah, plus the drop at like uh, the main base of Dark and behind this is expanding as well. Cure is playing so quick right now. And behind all this, I mean, like he's taking these trades that they're not especially favorable, but he's building a big army now with a ton of siege tanks back at home. This yeah. is uh, reminiscent of one of the earlier games Dude. we saw from him. This like widow mine marine everywhere on the yeah, map. Yeah, yeah. And then. Behind it, two factory siege tank, and then you just go for the kill. This is kind. This is so cool. You're totally right, State. Uh, he basically he harasses on two sides, trades out pretty effectively, and then he factors in the tanks. And this is where he wants to actually start to make the killing blows. He's trying to soften him up. He's trying to make the Zerg as squishy as possible. Uh, but this is where we need to see if these attacks are going to work. I don't know how many Banes are uh, in the game. By the way, Terran quietly behind this, behind this, excuse me, takes the six o'clock position. It's such an interesting kind of new flavor of TBZ in the yeah. mid game. You know, the late game is pretty much the same, but how we get there is so much more fun, I think. Okay, dude, that's a bad angle for that's those That's a lurkers. really bad yeah. angle. I don't think Dark is expecting an army this powerful this fast. Yeah. Because not only is the bio so hard for him to deal with, but also, the siege tank count is so high right now. It's just off screen, but you can see on the mini map, there's so many siege tanks now working their way 
towards this nine o'clock position and this is going to be such a tough spot to break dark i don't know what the bailing count is he has 18 more morphing right now but it feels like he needs a lot to be able to break this position he's actually going for the counter oh 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 that's and so many planetaries it gets shut down oh my god he's going to end up taking out dude i think cure is, is moments away from winning this he takes out the evo chamber it all comes down to this next engagement i think Dark really needs a win here. He really needs to clean up this army from Cure, or we might just see Cure snowball. Two Vipers are out. The Baneling count is getting higher and higher. 64 links now in production. Is this a time for Dark to move in? All right, links uh, flooding. Blinding clouds are fantastic here for Dark. Not bad from Dark. I think he might just have enough. Now he's gonna break this position, it looks like, but keep in mind that Kira back at home is building yet another army, now mixing in Ghost. He's getting his 3-3, three, three. he's getting additional vehicle weapons. And the, uh, the supplies are pretty much even. That was an insane exchange there. Uh, vehicle weapons two completes. Uh, and, and somehow this is shockingly even when it's all said and done. Four tanks, five Ghosts out. Those are the key units now for Kira. Dark on 92 links. Pretty much nothing else in his army besides just a handful of lurkers and a handful of uh, vipers. And he doesn't really have the baneling count to, or the, excuse me, the gas count to really uh, refuel his baneling numbers. It's going to be very low for a while right now. I think coming up to maybe 14, 15, or 18 banelings. That's a workable number, but look at the way that Kyrdas keeps expanding with so many command centers as well. It's kind of like this weird mix of like what we've seen Maru do and what we saw Ryung do earlier in this season. Yeah. It's this interesting blend of TBZ. And like, he's outpacing the Zerg. So, and Kyrdas playing this smart with, uh, again, two siege tanks at the time for the longest time. He has a really healthy siege tank count and he's building so many planetaries. And that's one thing that it's very tough for Zerg to clean up cost effectively with this army composition like Ling Bane. And Kira just kind of playing this corner of the map to perfection right now with all these planetaries, all these siege tanks. And you see Dark, even though his army is frankly massive, kind of very timidly moving around because he doesn't, he probably sees the same problem that we do where it's just very tough for him to actually get any footing to break. For now, right now, it seems like his game plan is just to try and preserve mining and Look at this, Kira has the confidence with his defensive position in the bottom left to actually yep. move in with all this bio and try and snipe more bases. Well, I mean, the Zerg is going to have to scramble. He's going to have to haul ass to get over here to try and protect this. The Lings are going to come up now. And it's I a mean, lot of Lings. this is a lot. He could pick it up just in time. Some are sort of just in time. And, and the Nukes are back on the play, too. You know, I, I, I think Dark still has a shot here. But he does. But Look at that mineral bank. Yeah, well, that, well, that's the scary part. We have to see the mineral bank go down before we can really assume that anything else can get done here. Uh, these Lings are going to have a pretty insane counterattack here. Yeah, this is a weak point right now in Kira's army. Only one planetary fortress and not a lot of uh, defensive siege tanks in position over here. Dark trading out a lot of banelings, though. Remax underway, 44 more links in production. Yeah, you know what? I don't think Dark should have done that. I know the Remax is underway, but like I'm mm. not sure how much that actually did. It's tough to say because, again, the way that Zerg usually wins in positions like this is yeah. by making moves like that. It's, it's kind of just using your superior economy, your superior production to just railroad the Terran and, and right. just kind of steamroll them through their bases. But that only really denied the natural expansion. It only took down a couple of siege tanks, maybe a handful of ghosts and a planetary. Right. And Cure doesn't mind that too much. And now look, the bank for Dark, although it still is very healthy, it's gone down quite a bit. Now only 3,000 minerals, whereas before it was quite a bit higher. Right. For very little payoff. So it's kind of a tough position, but really if you're Dark, it's difficult too, because if you're not gonna make a break in there, where are you gonna go? Because that was really the weakest link in Cure's defense was in front of that natural. It was just one planetary, it was maybe one or two siege tanks. And if you can't really find value on that side of the map, where are you gonna find value, right? Well that that's the big question, right? It seems like once you start to get planetaries up, especially ones that are not they're not even mining from, it becomes a lot more of a headache to try to break in there and get any value out. All right. Thing is, he denies Terran from taking this. Honestly, though, getting the tanks is probably a bigger deal than even getting that because that was never going to be a big resource-rich location. By the way, I think Dark is maybe going to win this if he could just kind of keep fighting back because he has 
maybe half the map, whereas Kira is in control of like uh, four tenths of the map, if that makes sense. Yeah, Kira really needs to control the three o'clock position on uh, this map if he's going to able to uh, close this close this one out, but. I like the playstyle that he's going for. He's actually added a third factory with a tech lab. God, that got nuked so many times it died. <laughs> but three siege tanks at a time in production? I mean, that's the main thing that Dark is training for right now with these Vipers. Yeah, is yeah. He's resetting the tank count, but Kuri has a ton of gas in the bank. And siege tanks, very efficient units for the value you get out of them. Three factories at a time, he's going to be happy to spend his gas on that and slowly work towards controlling the uh, three o'clock side of the map. Yeah, he's going to siege up more over here. Uh, he's, yeah, I was going to say, he has to start to snipe these Vipers. Otherwise, he's just going to slowly lose out to tanks. Six tanks now on the field. And for Cure, he really just wants to retain the Ghosts. Remake the tanks, retain the Ghosts. Yeah, Ghost retention is key here. Uh, now, there's so many Lurkers, I don't know how you know effectively he can actually snipe through this. Um, obviously, it's two snipes to kill a Lurker, so... A lot of them very softened up. Zerg has not really been able to expand from those two bases on the left. No, this is such a difficult spot to break. The planetaries and the siege tanks, I mean, it's the perfect staging ground to deny mining over there at the nine o'clock. Berk's gonna try and come in now that Kyrgyz shifted his attention over to the three o'clock and he will be able to get this planetary. Burger's coming in as well. And Kyrgyz is gonna trade it out. He's gonna take these bases over here at the top right. All right, he's gonna push it again. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, Dark's counterattack's kind of insane, but there's a lot of important locations that uh, could be smashed over here. Oh, does he not repair this in time? The Banes are gonna come up. Here is just too preoccupied with other stuff. Yeah. This planetary's gonna go down. This one's gonna be able to take out these Lurkers. Behind this, Dark has been doing a good job of actually defending the top right. Why oh, I say that is now, now well, Kira's army suddenly comes in. Now, here's the thing, man. Zerk was not using those two center left bases for basically this whole game. Mm. Uh, by the way, the Zerk's gas, very low. It is. So, I mean, the reason why that matters is that's going to be the source of, of Bane Links. So, you know, Zerk's going to have to fight by trying to surround with Links. And, and to be honest, the Terran's army is, is very, very scary right now. It's Terran, Terran actually has a bigger army than the Zerk does right now. And so, it's way more uh it's way more resilient to the army composition dark is going for yeah. too i mean look at the siege tank count all these ghosts what does dark have he has 10 lurkers and 100 lings and yeah those are great units but the advantage for Terran here is really that he can force the zerg to kind of fight on his terms right right and zerglings coming into an army composition like that one is so tough to break with just lings and lurkers i mean i don't, I don't even think there's a there's one viper on the field tasteless yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like go super big picture here and figure out where exactly we're at. The thing is, I think what Kira's gonna do is he's just gonna ditch the bottom left. Mm. He think he has enough of an army, enough minerals in the bank, enough tanks on the ground. If he has a really good spread, he can hit these uh, banes before they connect. And you know, as much damage as Dark is doing, we just keep zooming out and there's just more and more stuff here. All the ghosts were back there. <laughs> yeah, the ghosts were never taken out by the Banes. And so watch these snipes, it's gonna be crazy. Um, now, that being said, a lot of Terran stuff was killed off back there. Both of these guys barely have any uh, uh, resources in the bank. Terran has like this huge amount of gas, but that's kind of the way this matchup goes. It's insane that we're now at 24 minutes and both these guys are below 140 supply. Yeah. With really little opportunity to actually reach that point. Uh, I mean, the income is just so sparse for both of these guys. They've gone blow for blow for what feels like the past five minutes, just trading yeah. bases. And by the way, top right base is not being mined from. There's something up there. Looks so like, like uh, yeah. So like Dark is, is barely hanging on. Now, Cure does land uh, mules over there and take that base. Uh, the upper, that base we just saw, hmm. that, that is only three patches left. Now, Terran, the thing is, Terran might try to put, this could come down to one big fight in the top right here. It could. The thing is, I don't know who's actually favored. I know that there's not anywhere near as many Banes. There can't be, in fact, I don't see any Banes. Only two Banelings, and actually Dark oh, is going funny. for a much more uh, different unit composition than we've seen from him right. throughout this entire game. He's now mixing in um, Infestors. Right. He's getting the Infestor energy upgrade. He has 18 Lurkers, he has seven Vipers. Oh, 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 he just went up to more Banes. Oh, Eight is banes. he? Now, there's okay. 10 tanks. Now, the thing is, the tanks, they have enough splash damage 
they can sort of weaken the Zerg up to the point where when they get close to the Terran army, that's when, you know, the infantry can kill off the rest of stuff. That's why Siege Tanks are, like, one of the best units in the whole game. 73 lings out for Dark. Besides that, a lot of really high-tech units. Again, that Lurker count at, up at 18. And these guys' armies is... It's not something that you typically see because their worker counts are so low. Right. We have oh. 150 army supply for Cure, 130 for Dark. These are massive armies. Oh, here we go. Can he get the snipe? Oh, the EMP oh! was huge! Every That's single Viper! Huge. Every single Viper just got killed. In terms of energy, just completely wiped out. Nuke's now coming in. Okay, so now he can start to break this position. That might have been, in the almost half hour game we've had here, that might have been the most important thing that's happened. Yeah, Dark, you can see him now scrambling, sending the Vipers back to try and harvest more energy from his structures. Four more Vipers in production. He knows he needs those to actually deal with this Terran army, which is so huge. 148 army supply, and it's it's like Mech and Ghost. Beagle, yeah. Beagle armor level three is about to come out. Like, this game yeah. has gone so late. Okay, another perfect EMP. And so he could just keep sniping. Dark doing his best to try and deny this. Such an interesting late game from both of these guys right now. It's a crazy one, man. You rarely see players get armies of this size. And Zerg's got this base up. Now again, I don't know if he's gonna be able to actually mine from this or not. Um, he's gonna keep nuking the spot. He's slowly inching forward here. Cure's just creating so many problems for Dark right now. Again, the most important position on the map for the Zerg is top right. Yeah, top right, and also this position right here, because yeah. if if Cure is able to stunt the growth of Dark, as Dark is gonna try and come over here and clean up this army. Okay, so he cleans that up. He's traded out a good number of his banes here. Oh, there's no planetary here. No, no planetary. There's so many CCs for Cure. But look at the banks right now. 5,000 minerals, 3,000 gas for Cure. Dark at 166 supply. Yeah, I think, I think Cure is almost there. Cure is just starving he, him out. He's going to go up the ramp. He's chased the Zerg away. And if he takes this base out, he just gonna, he's going to have to take that one base down in the bottom left. Yeah, this Dude, base is going to go down. I think Cure is moving on. It's a lot of Vipers, though. He will be able to take some really good trades. Yep. Abducting so many ghosts. Great and control, even getting a fungal growth there but, on but the ghost. He gets that base. Now, the drones are all burrowed in the top right. Mm. I don't know that he knows that. This is such a hectic game. If he scans that, it's going to be a massacre. Um, yeah, dude, I think we are almost to the end of, of an insane series. Yeah, Dark's trying his hardest to stay alive right now, but Cure is just so wealthy with such a powerful army. 146 supply. Uh, pretty much the strongest units in the game. I mean, this is the ideal Terran composition here at this stage. Fully upgraded mech, ton of ghosts, handful of bio. That's GG, it. There it is. What an incredible grand TBZ we saw. That